my name is Suba Gurwal and I'm a math expert. And today, we're going to go over the traditional way to multiply. So, I'm going to work through a couple examples with you so you can help learn the rules. Now say we had some number, 64 times 6. With traditional multiplication, all you have to do is multiply each individual numbers and carry over what's left. So 6 times 4 is 24. When I say carry over, I mean we write the 2 up here. And then we multiply these. 6 times 6 is 36. But we just have this 2 hanging out, so we add that in. 36 plus 2 is 38. Write that down here, 384. So that's pretty simple. But if we have something that has multiple digits, like, oh, what if it's 64 times 12? It's like, now these are 2 times 2. What do you do? Well, it's pretty simple. Do the same thing we did initially with the 2. So 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. And then when we go to multiply this number, you just put a 0 in here. Just put in 1 0, and then you multiply. 1 times 4 is 1. 1 times 6 is 6. Finally, you add everything together. 8 plus 0 is 8. 2 plus 4 is 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. And this rule of adding zeros works for however many numbers you have. So if you had 644 times 122, you would multiply, add a zero, multiply again, add two zeros, and then keep multiplying. And however many more digits you add is however many more zeros, and you just keep going, add everything up, and you'll get your answer. My name is Subo Garwal. That was the way to traditionally multiply, and thank you for taking an interest in math.